Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another edition of the Makeup Protection Program. I'm going to let you know right now, I do not feel protected but I'm going to do my best to do the protecting. So I am going to mention some things that I'm interested in in this video, but maybe I can also talk about why I don't need these things and maybe why you don't need them. I don't know. We're just going to talk about it. There's a lot to comb through this week. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. You know, I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So how are you? We had some snow here. I'm not sure how many inches. I think it was supposed to in total be between three and six. So I don't know. I have just closed my shades because I'm not here for it. Otherwise I'm doing great. Still on the up and up and I hope you are as well. Let me know how you're doing in the comment section or the chat and we are going to get started. I may have to come back tomorrow and edit in some more posts because I do know that Jamie is still posting and has posted quite a lot. If you're not familiar with Jamie, Jamie is also known as makeup on your radar and she has become a very good friend of mine. I really like to start with her page first and then we'll go through uh, the other pages and see if there's anything different. So I'm going to scoot over and we're going to get this show on the road and I'm over. Let's go ahead and scroll down to see where we left off last week. Sinful Echoes has been sneak peeking some singles. And I remember talking about one last week because it was a beautiful red one. Here it is, Rubrum. I thought this was beautiful. You know I'm not getting any singles. So this is definitely out. But I can go ahead and admire this. And I believe it's available now. I will try to see if I have something like this in my eyeshadow singles collection. But right now, this is a no. Spectrum be killing me. So they have a Spectrum patisserie box. So they have their little cute themed brushes. And these are a pass. I really don't need any brushes right now. What I need to do is wash the ones that I have. I also saw up here somewhere that Spectrum is coming out with some Zodiac themed brushes. Now these have already launched. This is the new Zodiac star sign collection. I don't know what they look like, so, but I'm not getting them anyway. I don't need any brushes. I also mentioned previously that Glaminatrix Cosmetics is coming out with new cheek and lip shades. I don't feel like I'm much of a, cheek lip product person and most likely I won't get this one either especially because they're coming from so far away I need instant gratification when I can and that is not going to do it for me it looks like Armani is rethinking their lip maestro liquid lipstick it looks like they're going to be releasing some new ones and I think it's called the neo nude collection it looks like these are lip glazes with tint and it will not be here in the US probably until March or so. So that's just something to look out for. This is actually cute. This is from Morphe. Ready in five, welcome to Miami eyeshadow palette and ready in five, New York minute eyeshadow palette. So these are cute. I'm not gonna be purchasing these, but I do love the idea of quince, you know, and small eyeshadow palettes. I have been into them lately. And I like both of these color stories. They're very nice and they are available. They are $7 each and available at Ulta. It looks like they're probably going to come out with more destinations like BH Cosmetics has already done for years and years and years until they went down. It looks like Morphe also is coming out with a sun and done smooth gliding bronzer stick. I don't really need cream bronzers at all. This one has antioxidant rich vitamin E and jojoba and sweet almond oils. Supposed to have long lasting wear without cake increasing or fading. And they are available now for $12 each. The shades look really nice. Let me know your thoughts. 
is anyone still purchasing from Morphe? And I'm not saying that like to down the brand. I'm just curious. Guerlain has the Kiss Kiss B Glow Oil. 92% natural origin honey tint lip oil. I'm gonna let you know the lip products are was really getting me and it's crazy because I'm trying to move away from the eyeshadow, but something else is stepping into the forefront. And it's not like, oh, I need to find something else to buy. These lip products that are coming out really look good. The honey tinted lip oil between skincare and makeup. And you know, that has been, the push now for, I would say about two years, maybe at the beginning of 2022. And we're seeing it in all of the products from foundation to lipstick. So this is a honey infused tinted lip oil that's formulated with 92% natural origin ingredients nourishing and plumping and delivers 24 hours of care and ensures an instant volume effect and a completely addictive glassy shine with no stickiness. The no stickiness is, is what gets me. It looks like we have six shades and these are now available in Canada. So these will be coming. Oh, we had a price. We don't have a price yet. Say what's your price. Okay, let's move on. Essence Cosmetics has some palettes here. We have two minis and then some larger palettes. So we have the Protect Your Energy Mini Eyeshadow Palette and the Trust Your Intuition Mini Eyeshadow Palette. And these are $5.99 each. I'll let you know right now, I don't really like that fold out situation. Then we have the Strawberry Lemonade Shake It Up Eyeshadow and Eyeliner Palette and the Ice Caramel Latte Shake It Up eyeshadow and eyeliner palette and these are $14.99 each so you've got I guess some liners in here with the shadows let me know if you've tried essence eyeshadows I've only tried the mascaras but the mascaras are really nice so I could see someone saying like the, the eyeshadow quality is nice this almost has the same color story as the morphe quad don't you think let me know your thoughts on essence in their eyeshadow and I believe you can get these from their from Ulta yeah winky Lux has a cheeky rose liquid blush let me know if you've tried winky Lux. You can tell that we are getting ready for warmer days. I don't know if I'm adding Winky Lux to my sea of brands, but I would love to know your thoughts on Winky Lux. I know they used to have these little, real little mini lipsticks. I guess it was like maybe a trial set. I remember someone got me one year, but I feel like I lost them because they were this small. Oh, and they have a cheeky rose liquid sculpt this is a gel cream bronzer which melts into the skin for a seamless velvet finish i really don't need any bronzers so i'm gonna pass i'm trying to rotate around what i have they're 19 dollars each and i think the cheek products are the same price yes available at ulta oh you guys i have to tell you so dd signature let's see if we have the palette reveal Okay. This launch date is January 25th, 2024. And you can use code radar 10 at checkout. I have to share that I did get an email from DD signature and they would like to send me some of their beautiful creations that they're going to be coming out with this year. So I definitely said that I was interested and I really am. Floresis, okay, or is it Floresis? They have a nomadic glam palette. I saw Michelle Wong open some PR because she was opening a lot of PR. And I saw her open this collection and the bag. Like, look at the bag. All right, let's let's see what the collection has and then we'll we'll get into it. We have the Into the Wild palette for $55, the Peony Dream Cream Blush, which is 30. Now, let me just say this about the palette. $55 with that intricate uh, detailing and carving into those shadows, I would pay that price. I love the detailing on the outside. I feel like this is a new look for them. Now, I gotta hold my horses because Floreasis sent me some PR and something else, and I've not used it yet. So I'm over here playing games, and I definitely wanna show y'all that, but I just got backed up. 
We have a Too Flawless Jade Breathable Press Powder for $46. And then we have another press powder, a tinted press powder for $52. There's also a cushion foundation for $46 and a lipstick for $30, smooth satin lipstick. And this is available at Floresis Official. I love this. It's like faux leather cushiony packaging on the outside of the components. This just looks so different for them. So let me know your thoughts. I think their pricing is pretty reasonable and it's very luxurious. Beauty made for adventure. I kind of want this palette y'all. That's beautiful. Why am I spending so much time on this? <laughs> Not this try on. We are not doing the try on. Be looking crazy. Those shades, gorgeous. Ooh. Now, see, these swatches are looking extra light, extra pale. But I have a feeling that they're more pigmented than you think. And we get a gift. What is this gift? What is that? Is that a harmonica? What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a hair clip. Oh, look. You can unlock a free gift. But not the blush carrier. Oh, I can't unlock it. Okay, so it looks like you can unlock these free gifts. Oh my gosh, why am I salivating? This is, this is why I know I have a problem. I am so into this palette though, this Into the Wild. Now, let, let's go ahead and talk about what we may have. I was going to say Natasha Denona, Yuka palette. Nomad Okavango, but what's throwing me off is this shade in the middle, this kind of peachy shade. Okay, let me calm myself down because we are not gonna make this whole video about fluoresis, but I'm just trying to find out about these other accoutrements that are in here. Cause I saw the bag. Are they selling the necklace? Cause this is what I really want is the neck, the necklace that the um. Oh my gosh! Wait a minute. What? Sign up for a guaranteed fifteen percent off discount. Oh, let me do that real quick. All right, well, at least if I do get it, at least I'm getting 15% off. Look at the blush situation. Okay, wait, here's the whole kit. All right, Enchanting Escapade Cat. But that's the necklace I want, okay. What is this? Is this, am I sleeping on fluoresis or fluoresis? Nah, I might need to stay asleep. Now stay woke, they be creeping. We have the Enchanting Escapade Kit. Complimentary gifts worth $198. Okay, and then we choose our set. All right, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute, no, no, no. I, I don't know what's going on. All this might mean I don't need to get it. They would put two in my, I ain't gonna put two things in my basket. So we have the Pastoral Dreams Kit. Complimentary gifts worth $68. So you get the palette. This is what I would want. The palette, the blush, and the lipstick. And then the gifts. Can y'all give me some details on these gifts? This is hard. This is a lot. Okay, $115. So you get a little bag, a little blush carrier, and the hair clips are adorable. And it looks like a keychain or something. I don't think that's unreasonable for $115. Now, who's really wearing a blush carrier? It's about to be me. Cause if I get this, I'm carrying that blush around everywhere. Surely am. Okay, now we have the Radiant Voyage Kit. Okay, so we're getting the cushion foundation, which I don't need. The breathable press powder. Nope, don't need that. And then the blush and the lipstick. What? And then what kind of gifts do we get? What, what, what kind of gifts? Okay, I don't want this. Why is this more? 149. It looks like we're getting like some better gifts. Or not better, but you're getting bags and such. Alright, so mmm. The fragrance card. Fragrance? I'm sorry to spend so much time on this. You get a phone and lipstick holster, a nomad clip-on powder compact carrier, and a nomad gift tote. Okay. You can just put your phone in there. It's a phone and lipstick hold. They got innovative products on here, y'all. We might have to do this. We have the Enchanting Escapade Kit. I think that's the last kit. So you got the palette, the powders, both of them, three of them, or foundation, blush. Okay, you get everything. But then you get this kit. This is what I saw Michelle Wong had, like this bag right here. 
she might have had the clutch bag. This is so cute. Oh, powder compact carrier. Okay, after all that, let me know your thoughts about this collection. See, I like this collection. So this one is 245. So we the one I want is the cheapest. That doesn't make it better, but it just makes it cheaper. Let me know. I'm kind of enthralled with this. Y'all, we will be talking about this in a little bit. So hold your horses. So while I was gone, I did pull out the Florius's palette. <laughs> I know we're done talking about it. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. Look at these embossings. So pretty. These carvings, this pop of blue. <sighs> what am I waiting for? This middle shade. All right. I talked to Jamie because she got this palette as well. So maybe we'll collab on that. I'm hoping that's going to be the case. All right. Let's get back to the streets. I decided on that Nomad collection, but it's beautiful just to admire it. Oh gosh, we're still at the beginning. Flower Beauty has an ultra light liquid blush. Again, we're gonna start seeing an influx of these types of products. Now, Flower Beauty is very affordable. Isn't that Drew Barrymore's brand? They're $14.50 and they are available at Ulta. So these do look very nice. It's reminding me of the same type of the component that Charlotte Tilbury has with the little puff at the end. So let me know your thoughts. I did order this from Sol de Janeiro. I think we talked about this. This is the Cheriosa 59 Perfume Mist. It should be here tomorrow. So I'll have something going up on that. I really like how the corresponding body cream smells. I know there was something saying that it attracts spiders, but I'm, I'm, I've been good. So... This is $38 for the regular size and $24 for the mini or the smaller size. And I got the $24 one. The Mara Beauty. Didn't we talk about this brand last week? Firming Algae Cream Moisturizer. I'm going to be passing on this. It's $64. This is a new brand to me. So let me know. It's got vegan stem cells, sea moss, plant peptides, and algae. So that sounds great. Because, you know, stem cells are all about renewal. So... I mean, that's what people would want with their skin. Mango People Cosmetics, never heard of this brand. Juicy Glow Prep and Hydrate Balm Stick with Centella Asiatica, Asiatica? A translucent balm infused with vitamin-rich superfoods that hydrates the skin, leaving it well prepped for makeup with a dewy glass-like finish. Sounds like it's gonna be used as a primer, which I don't need any primers right now, but I'm definitely interested. It's got celery extract, cucumber extract, and C13-15 alkane. I'm not sure what that is. Ooh, okay, so the whole thing with them is it's infused with adaptogens. You know, adaptogens help your body's reaction to stress. Is this their only? Okay, no, they have other products, it looks like. Fairly new brand, do you think? I think I remember seeing these products actually okay three years so it's fairly new all right gotta move on see i'm doing too much deep diving and then i want everything from laneige we have a sleeping mask this is the berries and choco kisses so you know we're getting ready for valentine's day so that's what this is all about so this is a duo set that has a berry lip glowy balm and then the limited edition chocolate lip sleeping mask so let me know your thoughts on that 26 dollars. it is available at sephora I mean, Colet has a skin enhancing, lightweight and blurring foundation stick, medium natural coverage, has baobab seed oil, shea butter, soft focus powder. Okay, let me know. I have a like a brow gel from Ami Colet, but I haven't tried any of their makeup products. Okay, let me know your thoughts on this. Mom, yes. Where's your dessert? They just gonna leave my door open. The Unveil palette has been released. So you see they have the light and dark palette and somebody just dropped something. This is a very beautiful bridal palette. I did decide to pass on this, but of course, oh, I love that fourth brown. That's so pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love the third shade. Okay, let me calm down. Oh, you know, I kind of like how this palette is sectioned off like that because then you can really see the look. But nonetheless, this is a pass for me. It's just not a palette that 
I really desire to have, at least not at this time, but I do think it's a very, very beautiful palette. This is $52. Let me know if you purchase this palette. Yeah, I fuck you for the Barbecue. Yeah, that, that, that's not ice cream. And what else do you want to have? Yeah. Okay, yes. Because he is lost without his vanilla ice cream, y'all. It is not a game. My coat with Sydney Grace is Fritz Face 15. It's not affiliated, but it would save you the 15%. I, I think this is a really beautiful palette. Now that I'm looking at it swatched out, this is the first time that I saw that. But it has to be a pass. I really trying to lay low with the eyeshadow. More from Flower Beauty, we have a bright eyed under eye corrector and it helps to awaken your eyes in a flash. Looks like there are four shades. Let me know what you think about this. I don't think I've used a product like this. Maybe I would get the one of the ones on the top row, but I'm not sure. It doesn't matter because I'm not getting it, but they are $13 each at Ulta. More from Flower Beauty. We have a Gloss Crush Lip Serum. Okay, now this sounds good. Apricot oil, raspberry seed oil, and avocado oil. They are $11 each at Ulta. They have a high shine finish. Ooh, I like all the shades. Mm -hmm. And I bet you they'll be in stock on like Summer Fridays. We'll talk about them. <gasps> Are these duo ended eyeliners? You know, I was just talking about how I was having a hard time with my double ended liner from Char. I don't know if it's just getting old. I don't know if I've been spoiled by Victoria Beckham and the Melt Slick Water Lines, but these, I am kind of interested. Cream and Chrome Eyeliner Duo. Ultra blendable, rich color payoff and cruelty free. They are $11 each versus However much I paid for the Charlotte Tilbury ones, they are available at Ulta. Like, I like that. Is that a navy and a silver? A brown and a taupe? A black and a taupe? Ooh, look at the purple. Okay. If I happened to go into Ulta and got one or two, don't be surprised. Okay. So... I know you're probably like, what else is she gonna say today? I went down this rabbit hole with Prada. I became overly obsessed and intrigued because sometimes when I'm just looking at makeup releases that I'm not thinking about getting, I like to see like, oh, what color do I think I would take in this? Cause you know, somebody might ask me about it. Every foundation that I try, I mean, there's just no formula for me because I feel like I'm neutral, but I've got foundations that may have a warm undertone. Neutral is always really safe for me. So I was like, ooh, let's see what I would wear in Prada. And then I got into the swatches, y'all. And I was like, I, let me see if I can show you all what I'm talking about. And then you'll, you'll get why I, you might not get why I went down the rabbit hole, which ended up being a purchase, but you'll understand why I was confused. And I will talk a lot about that whenever this gets here. It said tomorrow, but we'll see. Okay, so we have this Prada Reveal foundation. Now this will be my first, and I thought that would be cool to try because I've never tried a matte foundation. I always say I don't like matte, I don't like it, but I've never tried one. So I'm just making an assumption. I'm going to the, girl, not you. I'm going to the third hand over and I thought I would take something in this range. So here it is, the medium neutral 60. I was like, okay, that looks like it could be me. All right, then I looked at the medium neutral 55 shade. Now, if I look at 55 compared to 60, 55 is really deep and then all of them have a half shade, you know, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Then you go from 60 to 70, which I feel is weird. The shades aren't going from light to deep. I guess it's the undertones that are happening with it. But anyway, long story short, cause I will really go into this when I do the video, cause there will be a video. That, that's what I'm trying to say. There's gonna be a video and I cannot wait to, to figure this whole thing out. I figure, uh, okay guy, I figure I can always exchange the shade, but I am hoping that I did a good job picking it out. We didn't stop there, no, no, we didn't stop there because I needed to understand about the Prada Monochrome Hyper Matte Lipsticks compared to the Soft Matte. Had to, had to do that because you know, we might as well. 
And then, well, so that's where I'm at. What I really hope from that video is that I will be able to help someone pick their shade out because it's damn near impossible. Not that the person helping needed to be me. I didn't need to be the one helping, but I just really felt compelled because I was like, what is this? And why is it taking me two hours to figure this out? And I'm still not confident. I hope y'all have a snack. Bobby, what is this? Spring collection, rose glow. Well, I'm not into eyeshadow sticks. This lip shade is very pretty. So there's a highlighter as well. No, okay, so these shades are new. They're limited edition. Now those look really nice, Bobby. They do. They're a pass, but they look very nice. Like I don't wanna knowingly waste money because I would be knowingly like wasting money as I press order, you know? Sinful Echoes has another shadow. This is Ember. These are beautiful. Okay, so there's multi-chrome singles, duochrome singles, and then there's gonna be a palette. So I know there's some more posts from them. We'll get there. We talked about Nomad last week, and I do have a video up with three looks. They did an excellent job on this palette. Okay, chaotic. <laughs> What is this? Chaotic Cosmetics has a rainbow pearl face glow. This is a lot for me. I I can't do it. This is a hologram. No, no. So I'm sorry. I don't have a price, but that's okay. Initio has a pre-order for a fragrance called Narcotic Delight. We have we have made notes of cherry. Cognac, vanilla, black and pink pepper, and tobacco. I want that. Not for $360. Oh, no. I'll, I'll try to get my hands on a sample from Lucky Scent or So Avant Garde or something like that. But, yeah, no. Let me know. That sounds so good. I just couldn't blind buy it. That's a lot. Because I already messed up with the Tom Ford one. Okay, we have Mangolicious Hibstorm. What is that? Okay. This is by Sphinx. I don't have notes, but it says it's a bold, playful fragrance that's guaranteed to turn heads. You know, they're getting us ready for spring and summer with these scents. Ooh, Bella Butte Bar. Love Bite. This is dropping on the 26th. This is beautiful. I'm wondering if I have something like this, maybe from Terra Moons. Maybe. Electrum Cosmetics has a Heartbreaker palette coming out on the 26th. So we'll have to see. They also have some new multi-chrome singles as well. Highlighter toppers and multi-chrome holographic flakes. And they're going to do a restock. Everything is a pre-order. Nope. That's pre. Oh, I'll tell you. A pre-order is when... I was about to say something smart. A pre-order is just when you order the makeup and they can't send it out right away. It's almost, I feel like it makes it's like they have to pay for it or something. I know what you're gonna say. No, that's what I was gonna say. No, you that's, said you're about season smart. Well, that's what I was gonna say. You're gonna say like your shoes. I was not gonna say that like your shoes because I didn't do a pre order for your shoes. Yeah, and yeah. Kaja Beauty has some wink dazzle dual ended eyeshadow sticks. Once again, I'm not gonna be doing the sticks. Okay, no. It's the same shadow on both sides, right? And then there's a versatile glitter stamp to create a dazzling eye look or to use as a, a highlight. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I might not understand. So there are two different shades, okay. But I'm not sure if I understand. It's the glitter stamp, this little sponge. They're making it real complicated. So it's a no, uh, uncomplicated no. For $22 each available at Sephora. No, nope. Thomas! So there are some new Tom Ford Slim lipsticks coming soon with a satin finish. You know, I pulled out some old Tom Ford lipsticks that I had, and I think I have one of the newer ones, so I have to try that one out. Tom Ford, the old lipsticks, I don't like them. I feel like they're creamy but dry at the same time. Now, I don't know how that's possible, but I they were little ones that came in a set. I really like the look of these, to be honest with you. But if they still smell cosmetic-y, like you can't tone that down and give me some more moisture, then this is, this is just, I'm just laughing. This is just not gonna be for me. And it's gonna be like $75, it's gonna be crazy. Now, if I end up with one at some point, I'm saying it's gonna be from a sale, but, okay, but 
Thomas, no. So V Cosmetics is coming out with a budget beauty range. Okay, and I get it. So this is called Venus. It's a slightly different formula and we've passed the savings from this down to you. And it's the quality. Okay, but then why can't they just, okay. So let's just figure this out. Why can't they just release cheaper shadows? I, because then it's just let everybody know this is the budget brand. Like when Ugg made the Ugg. budget Uggs, I think it was called Cooler Bear. I don't, I don't know the difference between them or like maybe one doesn't have the real animal fur. Or I don't know, but like, it's just too much. I know brands do this, but I feel it odd, I guess, from an indie brand. That's like when Notorious and Morbid said they were coming out with Spellcast Beauty because they were in the lab or something. I, you know what? Let's just move on because I'm not getting V or Venus. I'm not getting the budget or the regular. Like, thank you for wanting to pass the savings down to me, but I'm going to pass on to the next release. But I did. I have heard that V Cosmetics is really good. I know Nikki Raven really likes her or them. Ooh, what is this called? Dirty Soul Soap Co. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know why it's called that, but I would like to smell like a bag of jet puffed marshmallows. I surely would. And I would also enjoy smelling like a wild berry jam donut. <laughs> yeah, I, I want these. I don't know if I'm getting them, but I, I would like these. That I need to look up Dirty Soul Soap Company. You want to be dirty? They have a, I don't know. But they've got some dupes from Bath and Body Works, it looks like, and some really chocolate marshmallow cloud, honey crisp That's apple, chocolate. little black party dress, buttercups and berry bellini. Okay, I'm intrigued. Let me know if you know about Dirty Soul Soap Co. Ooh, Lubitin, not nail polish though. Mm -mm. I, I, I really like the, uh, the bottle though. My mom would really like this bottle. Maybe I can get this for my mom. I think she would love that because she loves like nice nail polish bottles. We have a Laneige sleeping mask. Ooh, is this cotton candy? Yes, cotton candy sleeping mask. That's probably nice. It's not something I need at this time. However, I'm almost out of my Alpen Beauty lip mask. Wander Beauty has a lip setter, dual lipstick and liner. Okay, now I'm here for a product like this. Not something I need, but I need more of this in my life. Give me the liner with the lipstick. Let's see. $32. See, $32 I can get the lipstick and the liner. That's decent. And the shades are nice, all of them. Ticket to Tawny. Okay. <laughs> on the mauve. I like this. All right, let me move on. We have these Smashbox Cosmetics Halo Sculpt and Glow Face Palette with Vitamin E. All day wear, there's a primer infused with it. So we have an all-in-one contour, blush, and highlighter palette. So are people still checking for Smashbox or is it like just certain products from Smashbox? Let me know your thoughts. It's kind of a cute release. So it looks like you've got two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlighter. I probably already said that. $45 each at Ulta. Oh, I have a gift card. Now the gift card's not gonna cover all these things that I'm talking about. And I need to think, am I really gonna be wearing this when I have my hourglass face palettes? All right, that's a pass. Makeup Revolution, oh, what is this? Pro Vegan Collagen Peptide High Shine Lip Gloss Stripped. You know, I just am not checking, they can't see, cause I'm gonna have something put up. I'm just not checking for Makeup Revolution. I don't know why, but I'm not. They're $10 each, which is a great price, and the colors look all right. So let me know your thoughts. LA Girl, they've got five palettes. So the Nudes Bold, Nude Cool, Nudes Warm, Nudes Natural, <laughs> and then the Here to Glow Desert Glow Envy. This is like their take on like Naked. Urban Decay would never do this. So yeah, let me know what you think about this it just reminds me of like a updated naked line from urban decay that actually looks 
different. So let me know your thoughts. Essence has a Hydra Kiss lip oil. I wonder if these are good. Shine and moisture, a hint of color. We've got ingredients like hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, vitamin E, and metal foam oil. And it's not sticky. $4.99. My little Ulta gift card gonna be gone. It was gonna be gone with the two hourglass lip pencils. Say mm, has a shade extension and their Dew Blush Liquid Blendable Liquid Blush. Look at Poppy though. Look at Saweetie. Not, I mean, sweetie. I'll say like, you know, the rapper Saweetie. Cutie. These look nice. Let me know. I really like well, Sweetie and Poppy, those look good. So let me know if you've tried these. These are $25 each. We have a little sparkling kiss gift set from Huda Beauty and KLE. So this set contains the travel size, the 10 ml of the Eden Sparkling Lychee perfume. And then we have a liquid matte ultra comfort transfer proof lipstick in the shade Gossip Girl. So that's pretty, you know, a little cute set. Oh, I'm interested in the KLE brush though. I can link that if you're interested. So Beautylish has this uh, brush, the Year of the Dragon Lunar New Year brush. I think my friend Jamie got this cause she really likes uh, unique brushes. And this is very cute with the dragon, you know, for Year of the Dragon, but I, do not need any brushes, so I'm gonna just admire when she uses it. Valentino has a shade extension of their Rosso Valentino High Pigment Refillable Lipstick, and now there are 45 colors. I have not tried Valentino, but these are the new shades. Of course, I will wear all of these shades. Like, they're just beautiful nudes. I really like all of them. Let's see, how much are these? $45. My issue with lipstick is that I am a low key bougie lipstick person. Now, didn't she come out with a heart blush palette or eye palette like this? P, I can't. Oh my gosh, launching. Who needs all of those like bronzer type shades? This is, I know it's like probably more for makeup artists, so we'll come back to that, but that's a lot happening for me. Okay, this is something I was interested in seeing. This is the Dead Roses palette from Bella Beauté Bar. It is absolutely not what I expected. I did not expect the color story to look like this. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. We do have the colors from the palette on the packaging, but for some reason, I didn't expect it to look like this. Honestly, I think I expected it to look more like the Chucky palette. These bright purples aren't really fitting in with it for me. So let me know what you think about it. I don't have a price. It is launching on January 26th at 11 a.m. CST. I, I know that people are going to do some great looks with this palette. This one I've, I've seen over the course of the week and I'm still like nah I was thinking about my Nomad Cosmetics Love and Death palette the Romeo and Juliet that has all the reds and pinks that you ever need if you want to do something like that and then on the death side you have such a really cool looking nine pan so that kind of gives me even though there's no purples in that palette I'm gonna have to pull that palette out and do a do we still love her maybe for valentine's day around that time because that's going to give me this this kind of vibe this hot and cool situation so that's going to be a pass let me know if you're getting it. we're going to talk about it y'all look at everybody begging for kim listen i'm sorry if you unsubscribe after i do my kk or skin whatever rant but if you've been with me from the beginning you already know what it is but I'm not there yet, so I'm gonna calm down. This is pretty. Lapis, this is another from Sinful Echoes. We have another fragrance coming from Sniff. They just came out with Vanilla Vice, and I know Jamie is getting that. Uh, I know it's sold out, but I just wanna pre-order, and that's just a lot. But this chocolate-covered strawberries, I'm very curious. We have notes of wild strawberry, vanilla milk, jasmine sambac, chocolate ganache, and champagne. So let me know what you think. I don't know what the actual... Oh, Big Flirt. Wait. 
Candles? You need to leave. That's my fault, because I didn't read. Not getting it. I think we talked about this ultraviolet palette from Bella Beauté Bar and Deandra Nicole. Okay, this palette is 62. I'm wondering how much the Dead Roses is because that one has less shades. So that one hopefully would be a little lower. So there are some multi-chrome lip glosses and loose pigments. So let me know. I know a lot of you like this one and it's very beautiful. I just don't see myself really wearing it. And I think I can get my purple fix from what I already own. It's beautiful though. I think purple looks good on every skin tone. Okay, that's not even what this is about. Tatcha has a Matcha Cleanse Daily Clarifying Gel Cleanser. It works to decongest pores, reduce oils and shine and minimizes makeup slip off. Okay, that's nice. Wait, minimizes makeup slip off? How? 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 All right, I, I would be curious to know how it minimizes makeup slip off. But it's $40 and coming soon. It'll be on Sephora's website and their own website. Let's talk about Char. So Charlotte Tilbury, darling, is going to be launching an all new Hollywood Beauty Icon lipstick in Hollywood pinks and Hollywood reds. This lipstick is in the kissing lipstick formula, not spelling it out. I'm a bit intrigued. So the lipsticks are $35 each. The pinks are in the satin shine formula. And then the reds are in the matte revolution formula. And there are five of each. I really like these. Now I've read the comments. A lot of people are like, this is what you're coming out with. Cause you know, Charlotte Tilbury comes out with the same kind of color range. It's like this Hollywood starlet situation. I feel like this is on brand for her. Like, I'm not mad at it. I think the packaging looks nice. What I'm not familiar with is Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick formula. I went through my collection and I actually do have two lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury, but I can't tell you the last time I tried them. I have Karina's Star. I'm not sure what formula this is. I'm going to have to find out, but it's a... Uh, almost got some sheen it's a satin this is a really beautiful shade so i'm gonna be wearing that and then i also have walk of no shame which i this is untouched untouched i'm not even gonna swatch it now walk of no shame is a very common theme in her palettes she's all about the walk of no shame which is great the other two that i have are these hyaluronic lipstick lip balms that I stumbled upon these randomly because it came for free when I got something from Beautylish and I liked it so much that I ordered another one. So I have, oh my God, I think this is almost done. That's sad. This is Pillow Talk. They're just those really juicy, juicy balms. I love these. They're called lip gloss lipsticks, I believe. And then I also have the shade Happy Petal. Now, I will also tell you that as I was looking through my collection, I did have a lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury that I had never used. Unfortunately, I put it in my empties can. This is called Beachy something. I don't know what it says. My issue with this, this is my Beachy Plump. I know that's what it says, Plump, because this smells like straight peppermint and it has that tingle. I like the little cute little whatever, but guess what? Guess what I'm not doing? that tangle because at this point there are some plumping lip glosses that don't tingle and that don't smell like peppermint so that's an empty as soon as i put it on i was like no i definitely would be interested in trying a couple of these now she also is going to have some lip pencils that are oh here they are she has some lip pencils coming out with these new lipstick shades. So she's got five of these lip cheats and I think they're gonna cover a wide variety of shades that she has in her line. So I'm curious about these. They are infused with jojoba seed oil and they provide 24 hour hydration. It's waterproof and lasts up to six hours with no smudging or transfer. Well, how is it producing 24 hours of hydration? Okay, doesn't matter. These are $25. They're going to be available on Charlotte's website on the 23rd. That's next week. Looks like DD Signature has some holographic and metallic singles coming soon. They're going to be on the website on the 25th. I don't see a price at this time. These, I'm going to get one of these. You know, 
I don't know if these products, some of them are going viral on TikTok, but they're, they are gone from Sephora right now. They are out of stock. They are available online only. They, let's talk about what they is. It's the Dream Lip Oil from Summer Fridays. And they seem to just have a great reputation for their lip uh, products. So the balms, the ones in the little squeezy tube, those are sold out right now. They're not in stores. A lot of stores are sold out and now these are sold out. My goal would be to get one of the bombs and one of these. I would love to try these out and see, are they really worth the hype that they're getting? Also weigh in if you've tried the Summer Fridays sunscreen drops. I really wanted to try those last year, I think when they came out and I just didn't. I was reading some reviews where some people said it broke them out, but some people really, really love it. So I'm curious about that. I'm curious about their jet lag mask, which my friend Ash really likes. And I am curious, of, and I'm curious about their skin tint. So let me know about all of those products if you have any knowledge, especially the sunscreen. Okay, here's another problem y'all. YSL Beauty, we have the Rouge Pour Couture Slim Lipstick. Now, I have two Radical Matte Slim Lipsticks and they are great, so I need to pull those out. These are on Selfridges now for $39.50, so they're gonna probably be like $43. I would like to know the difference between what I already have and these. Let me know. Mm, these are so good, y'all. Okay, hold on. This is a bad week for me. Okay, Electrum Cosmetics. Those flakes are a lot for me. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. Prism. Okay, I'm going to head on out. Road Beauty has a pineapple refresh. Oh, okay, polyglutamic acid. Green tea extract, pineapple enzyme. January 25th. So what is this? Is it a moisturizer? Oh, it's a cleanser. I have not tried Road Beauty. It's really not on my list to try ever since she had that glazed donut advertisement but this looks nice so let me know your thoughts i also am not in the market for a cleanser right now l'oreal now y'all this is the color rich satin nude lipstick why do these look so good i'm not saying they can't but i don't think i've ever looked twice at a l'oreal product 601 worth it i love that even though the mouth at the bottom just looks upset. Like if somebody made their mouth like that at me, I'd be like, oh, they're upset. So I don't know why we had to do that. Worth it intense. That looks really good. This is kind of reminding me of Charlotte Tilbury. I love how luxurious the packaging is. New unapologetic and new defiant, new resilient. I like every single shade. I'm not sure how much they are, but let me know your thoughts on these. Yeah, let me know. By the way, I was watching a video from Kinky Sweat, Alicia Archer, and she makes me want to try these lipsticks from Suku. It's like some type of moisture glaze. Thanks. If I get that, that's her. That's on her. Kylie, I've been skipping this for weeks. This is their foundation, and there are 40 shades. Not bad, not bad. That's actually really good. Flawless airbrush finish. It stays put for 12 hours. It might not even be bad, y'all. I'm just giving Kylie a hard time. I don't give Kim a hard time, but I give Kylie a hard time. I don't know why. It's just one of those things. This actually might be a nice foundation. It's $36. I mean, it's reasonable. Oh, big, no, no big, no money for this family pillow and stuff. I know, I know. So let's skip Sonia and we'll get back to her and let's go ahead and get it over with. Let's just go ahead and get it over with y'all. So KKW Beauty closed in what, 2021, 2022? And now she is back with her makeup launch under her new brand name, which is Skin by Kim. She is Kim Kardashian. Now, I know people have very strong feelings, like either you like them or you don't, but then there are people that just really don't care, you know? But I know people be rolling their eyes when I talk about my KKW Beauty, but I'm gonna tell you, that was one of the first makeup brands I tried, y'all. So just hear me out here. I tried ColourPop, that was like my gateway. She had her share of really nice palettes. And what I liked about her brand is very minimalistic, very plain, very 
very Kim Kardashian. I don't have to watch the show to know. Like if you look at her, her beauty aesthetic, very nude, very minimal as far as makeup goes. So I tried several of her palettes. They were magnetic. They blended very well. I had no issues with them. They had mirrors. I'm just saying mirrors. She wasn't plastered all over the palettes. They were very minimal, very like beige, you know, just chill. Now my favorite thing had to have been the lipsticks and the liners. I have my liners still, the ones that are left. I use them all the time. I loved the new shades of her lipsticks. I do not have her lipsticks anymore. And the reason that I don't have them anymore, it took me a long time to declutter them. I don't have her lipsticks anymore because they smell too cosmetic-y for me. As far as the performance, the colors, I love the nude lines. Like she would have one, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5. I think her beauty line was designed really well. That might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm gonna stand by it because I, I do think that she had the right aesthetic. So I'm happy to see her coming back with makeup and I was happy to see these lip products in particular. Every single shade, I will wear every one of these 10 shades. Now I don't know about the formula. I'm hoping at this point we can make lipsticks that don't smell cosmetic-y. I don't need a perfume scent. I really don't need any scent, but I, the cosmetic-y scent, it was like crayons. It smelled like crayons. And you know, after a while, I don't want to smell that because I have so many other good lipsticks that don't smell like that, that perform the same. I really love the range of these lipsticks. I actually want all 10 of them. I cannot get all 10, but I want all 10. I would literally wear every single shade. These are $32. And then she's coming out with 15 liners. So you see the gradient is like that. Like the presentation of this, I know it looks very, very boring, but I like this. To me, this looks luxury. I'm sorry, it does. That's just how I feel. Now, because you can almost look at it like from the first picture, you're like, I don't even know what brand this is. Like it stands out, but it doesn't. It's just very minimal. The liners I think are 22 and she has 15 shades. Actually, let me get on her website because I wanna show you the lip swatches. And I want y'all to let me know what shades you think are good. Because I like every single shade, but they're grouped in the categories of light nude, medium nude, and deep nude. So let's just take a look here, right here. You see all those shades? Six, seven, and eight, yes. I want five, two. I really would like to do four through eight. But my goal would definitely be to try one of the light nudes, one of the mediums, and one of the deep, the deepest one that I really want to try is eight. I love seven in that rosy tone, but I also love two, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Do you remember on Sesame Street, there was the, um, like, you know, they would help you count and be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> okay, if you remember that, then let me know. Give me a flamingo. All right, I don't wanna to spend too much time. Here are some more swatches. To me, the lipsticks and the liners are gonna be the highlight because that's what I really, really loved about her brand. And I do have a couple of her palettes still in my collection. So let me know if you're considering trying this brand. I know some people are like, I would never give her my money. So I totally respect that as well. And you know, everybody can do what they want. But let me know if you're considering it. Let me know what shades you think look really nice. I think the promo for this is nice. I, I don't know, I think it's a good job. What I do wanna really quickly mention is this eyeshadow palette though. How could we talk about this without the eyeshadow palette? Part of me wants to try the eyeshadow palette, if I'm being completely honest. I think that the lip products are on par with what I see with a lot of lipsticks. I mean, they're not as high as like the luxury brands, but mm, they're still a little pricey. This palette is $50 for the 12 shades. I love the shades here and it's, it's, it has a little warm, but to me it's mostly cool. Kim Kardashian is very minimal with her eye makeup. So I think that this is going to be a great selling palette, like for her brand. I just don't necessarily, it's not jumping out as a, 
palette that I really need to have. Like if I was just wanting to sit and do a review of the brand, oh, I really want to review everything that's coming out, then yes, I think the palette would be essential. But I don't know, I like it, but I also have other neutral palettes. So I don't really know, like my Biba palette, like that's gonna be the palette I go for. I don't know how often I'm gonna be like, let me get this classic matte eyeshadow palette. I feel like she could have designed it better. The palette's a little bit cheap looking. And her other palettes were, I mean, not because it's cardboard, but I don't know. I don't have any other ideas for layouts of that palette though. So I'm just gonna move on because I'm not a designer. Because of, yes, you see what Lethal Cosmetics wrote? How do we get to this point in history that we have a Burt's Bees and Ranch collab? And we have flavors. We have Buffalo Sauce Balm. We've got Crunchy Celery Balm, Fresh Carrot, and Hidden Valley Ranch. We have run out of all scents. All scents. From Burt's Bees? I just didn't see this coming from Burt's Bees. It's like, are they trying to put themselves back on the map? I don't know because I, not for ranch loving lips only. I'm disappointed. If you want to see someone review this, I'm gonna let you know Teresa is dead, is going to be getting these. She's very happy about them. And you know what? I am really happy for her being happy about them because I'm gonna happily watch her review and laugh. I think her and her husband are probably going to try them out together. But it's just too much of what I don't need. I just ranch dippers four pack. I just can't y'all. I don't know, it's making my stomach hurt. Ooh, more from YSL. All right, we have a couture lipstick now. 39.50 at Selfridges. Um, let me know if you're interested. We don't have too much on that. All right, y'all, we have so much left. I'm gonna have to pause here and come back to you with fresh eyes because it's getting late. So two shakes of a lamb's tail. We're gonna keep this going. All right, y'all, I'm back. Next day, we're gonna finish the rest of this. Let me show y'all this look really quick. I just put it together, didn't film it, but the Ravens played today. They might be playing as this video is up. Look at that, isn't that so pretty? It's one of my, um, that Dior, one of those big palettes with the 10 shades. I just use the purples and I just think this is so pretty. See, purple looks good on everyone. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. But I still can't get that palette. All right, let's get this going, y'all. And luckily, I don't see any new posts. So let's talk about Sugar Drizzle Polish. We have the MILF Man I Love Frogs palette that's back in stock, Sugar Dreams and everything should be available now. You can use code RADAR10 to save 10%. Let me know. I tried the Pizza Kitty palette from Sugar Drizzle. Mm, I wasn't really impressed with the formula, but I think it's a standard formula. So let me know. I did like that MILF palette though. There's a sneak peek of this from Clarity Cosmetics. I'm definitely interested. It looks like a nine pan and I am here for it. Deadly Rose, okay. Let me know what color story do you think we're gonna see? It looks really deep and grimy and I like it. No, we already talked about that. Westman Atelier has a restock of their Tinted Highlight, Warm Peachy Rose. Let me know if you're interested or have ever tried that one. K-Skin, very weary of K-Skin because I had a very bad reaction with the sunscreen lip product. And this is the Isle Lip Balm New Ting with SPF 30, it's $15. I can't do it. Let me know uh, if you've had success, but I had a fail with that. My lips had a fail. And I almost blamed it on my Hourglass lipsticks and that would have been a tragedy because they are some of my favorite lipsticks. Mora Cosmetics has Love Heat Cream Blushes. They are now available in 10 new shades. They're $8.50 each, and I'm guessing $75 for the bundle. Oh, this is cute to pick me. <laughs> that is cute. Let me know your thoughts on this and more cosmetics. I know a lot of people love them. ColourPop has the Cupid approved. That is cute. This collection is available now, I believe. And there are some codes now. I believe Makeup by Treens has a video up of this collection from ColourPop. Ooh, that's a lot. 
It's very, very Valentine's Day ready. Let me know if you plan on purchasing anything from this collection. I do not. It's Belle is sneak peeking a palette. It's Belle is sneak peeking a palette. Darling, the moon is still the moon in all of its phases. I know that's right. I am interested in seeing this palette. So let me know your thoughts. From Key Soul Care, we have a rejuvenating ritual for fine lines and wrinkles. This is the deeply replenishing squalene facial oil. So let me know what you think about that. $125. Wow. Uh, this is a pass. Oh my gosh, I, my footage got messed up. But I, I was talking about this it, yesterday and my footage was all crazy, so I just skipped it. But no, I'm about to include it because this is Metamorphosis BF and this is called The Thriving Collection and it just doesn't make any sense to me and maybe someone else can. But I don't, oh, what is this? What is this skunk? I'm just so lost and confused. There's like these glittery lipsticks. It's just a lot happening. It's available. But I do like that the collection is a reminder to thrive and achieve everything you set your mind to. Um, let's see. I, I don't know if anything is reminding me to thrive and achieve with this collection. Oh, some of the names. Admired, ambitious. Okay. Focus, focus. Okay, I guess. But uh, I'm not purchasing. All right, we have a new brand. Now this is Cryptine Cosmetics and the owner of this, the owner of this new brand makes these clear palettes that can house Cleona shades. And I actually had like a interaction because I wanted to get one and then I forgot. But yeah, they make the palettes. I wanna say this is the same person. So this is called the Burnt Forest Palette. It looks beautiful. But this reminds me of Adept. Now I am not saying that Adept, excuse me. Oh. That one, I don't know if that has batteries. Yeah, it has batteries. Okay. Because Marty be switching batteries. Adept is not, you know, it's not like this style is trademarked. And it's not exactly like the Adept ones. But it just reminded me of Adept. Does it remind y'all of Adept or is it just me? Okay, well maybe I'm the only one that thinks that. And that's okay. But I like it. I like the packaging. I like the colors and there are some swatches. I'm gonna find the swatches now. Here they are. So yeah, here are the swatches of the palette. I know nothing about the formula of this brand, but let me know your thoughts on it. Let's give you some information about launching this palette. The official site for this brand will be available in February. So there are more details to be revealed. So we'll just talk about it then. Elf has some pout clout lip plumping pens. And we see a lot of this style of lipstick. It's like that balmy formula. This is a nourishing lip plumping gloss that delivers sheer color and shine. Oh, it has a cooling tingle. Okay, I'm not into the cooling tingle. I'm just letting y'all know right now. I'm just not. $8 each, that's cool, but it's gonna be a cool pass. You know, I do like my makeup by Mario one and that had a little bit of a tingle. So I guess I'm not, if I already have the product and I didn't know, it's, it's okay. But if I know ahead of time, I'm, I'm not going to do it. So this is a cute palette. This is Dalton Beauty. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I'm really, really trying not to add new brands, Prada, to my makeup collection. I'm trying not to. I do like this color story, but it is going to be a pass for me. This is the Doll Squad 3.0 Eyeshadow Palette. This is talc free. And we've got 12 classic shades from neutral cool tone browns to smoky blues. And this is $44. Let me know. I don't know anything about this brand. So y'all, DS and Durga has a peanut perfume. The beauty of bold Virginia nuts ensconced in sandy soils and fields of crumbling shells. I mean, that sounds great, but this. Top notes of husks, heart notes of peanuts and base notes of fields. That's all to turn it off. Not coming in here with a whole basketball hoop. Okay, you know I'm gonna try to get a sample of this. I know I'm not gonna really like want this in a full bottle, but I am curious, you know, that what about pop? Never thought I'd want a popcorn fragrance, but look at me now. $250, 
only 150 bottles were made. Well, I'm gonna have to find a, a sample. Yeah, I, I have to find a sample of this. All right, Pretties For Your Face has a mini Valentine's launch. There's no makeup in this launch and I'm not really interested in the other products. There are some scents, that's nice, but I am gonna pass on this. Radar 20 is the code you can use to save. But this though, okay, this, I'm getting this, so I don't know when it's coming out, but I will be getting this. This is from Glow Recipe, and it looks like they are going to be launching their Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Huge Drops Tinted Serum. I am all about this for the summertime. I'm not sure if there's gonna be different shades or what, but I'm very excited. We are seeing the shade Sun Glow, so I'm just not sure. We'll just have to wait and see, but just count on me. I will be getting that. Wilhelm Parfumery. So I think this perfume house is just too strong for me. I have samples of Mango Skin and Poets of Berlin, too strong. But this is called Back to the Roots. So let's see, we have top notes of Angelica, Galbanum, Petite Grain. I already know from that. I'm not gonna like it. Ombre um, seeds, that's the top, so. Mm. Middle is orris, violet, ginger, and white tea. And the base note, sandalwood, driftwood, and musk. Hmm. I don't know, the petite grain in the top, petite grain smells like real bitter. Like I do not like that smell. I don't want that smell. But if it dissipates, you know, the ginger and the white tea might be nice, the sandalwood, but mm, I'm just not sure. I would like to try a sample. $250. Most likely, I don't think I would like this. From Notorium Skin, we have a Phyto Glow Lip Mask. I was just talking about lip masks and how I'm out. Oh, $13. That's not bad. Maybe I should get that one. This is formulated with shea butter, avocado oil, and jojoba oil. So that's nice. This is available now. Let me know if you've tried this brand because it is a new brand for me. I mean, I've heard of them, but it would be it would be a new brand for me. All right, Sinful Echoes, finally. We have gotten to the release. So we have the Sinful Echoes palette here, and then we have the four singles that, you know, we've been seeing throughout this video. So let me know what you think. I know some people were interested in the palette. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on it, but it looks really nice. Let me know if you have this one. Okay, Claudalie has the Vino Crush collection, and this is, it's really odd. So we have five skin tints, and then there's just one universal bronzer. Like, I wanna try it because I really like that body oil, the one with the fig. <laughs> This one is really earthy though. It smells like sour. It smells like earth. It doesn't smell like fig. I'm wearing, uh, I'm going like this. I'm wearing From the Garden by Mesa Margello, the one that smells like uh, tomato leaves. And it, it will go with this. It's just, it's such an earthy smell, but the oil is very nice. Anyway, that's the only thing that I've tried from Claude Lee. Now, the reason that I think that there's only five tones I still think it's low. Whatever ingredients that they have in this product, they melt into the skin and so it will create a color that matches the skin tone. Now, if that's the case, then just make one and it's gonna match everybody. But no, we know that's not the case. So this probably adapts to a certain range within the tone, but I feel as though five is still a very small number. So, I'm not sure. It's a half skincare, half makeup product. And those are your five shades. Now you gonna tell me that that deepest shade is gonna meet the deepest of us. You need to leave. No. Let me know your thoughts. I'm definitely curious. See, I feel like I would do shade three. But ma'am, on shade five, I don't know. Y'all are gonna have to let me know your thoughts. And the bronzer, honey, who, who, who? I mean, that bronzer will work for me, but like, that is not a universal bronzer. I wanna say they use the word universal. Let me just make sure, hold on. The bronzer comes in a color that Claudely describes, no, you're okay, hold on. That Claudely describes as a universal shade for all skin types. 
No. This is available in Germany and it can stay there for right now. I'm, I'm definitely curious though at the same time. Colored Rain. I don't know where they've been. But they have the Cam Quad Palette Volume 1. It's $36, which I think is totally reasonable. I do like how this is in little quads. I just don't see me using this. I don't see me pulling out this camera palette. I haven't tried Colored Rain, so let me know. But, mm, I mean, I definitely like the idea of it. You got the Vacate Quad and the Lit Quad. I don't know what the other two are called. Let me see. Oh, Classy Quad and the Lavish Quad. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's cute. You know, I know people are trying to think of like different things, you know, different things to do. But um, I'm just going to admire this from afar. Let me know if you plan to purchase that. All right. We've got Betty Boop and Glam Light. This is perfect for Valentine's Day. But once again, we already starting off on the wrong foot with me. See, I was about to say there might be something in here that I would like. But if it's coming out on February 2nd, y'all know with Glam Light shipping, you are going to be alone for Valentine's Day. Well, you might not be alone, but you won't have this. You're not going to have it. So no. And it's probably super cute. Like, look at the little lipstick here. It got the hearts on there. I would want to wear this. If I'm going out, I want to get all dolled up and put on my little Betty Boop collection and it's going to be in transit. And I'm going to probably be wearing the Freddy Krueger palette red one if I had that. Since I probably just got that in. No, I didn't just get it, but I don't have the red one. I have the green one. But you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, they got to, you got to be a month early. Like, let me buy it now so I can have it to wear for the moment. So this is probably going to be a pass until they have 40 or 50% off because you know they will. This is adorable. So many people like Betty Boop. I can just see so many people wanting the mirror, wanting these things. I want the mirror. But no, I'm not going to rush to get it. This is beautiful. I can't rush to get it. Nope. I On a sale, maybe once I see it. I'm sure it's super red though. So, mm -mm. Well, we might be done. Let me just see. We talked about the Terra Moons palette and I did tell you that I am skipping it and I'm sticking to that. So that's, that's good. That is good. Let me go to, I'm just going to skip and go to Trim Mood because this is a long video. Trim Mood has something up that I want y'all to see though. Here's one. This was spotted in stores. It is a new scent from Sol de Janeiro. And wondering if it's a, a Valentine's Day situation. So I don't have any information on that, but I wanted to show you. I also wanted to show you this from Dior because I am probably getting this. So there'll be no surprises with that. There's going to be a Dior Forever Glow Maximizer highlighter. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna get the highlighter because I don't really need that product, but I am interested in the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter. I know this is the product that Charlotte Tilbury came out with first and you know, a lot of brands have come out with their own versions of it, but I would like to try the Dior one. It's an illuminating fluid that enhances the complexion and visibly smooths the skin, both a complexion makeup product and a treatment with a fresh and light texture offers 24 hours of hydration and reveals the natural radiance of bare skin. So you can apply it before your foundation or mix it just like the Charlotte Tilbury. So I am uh, interested in that and that's coming soon. I'm not sure when I could probably pass on the highlighter, but it's saying it's saying it has multiple you it says it has multiple uses illuminator blush bronzer or even a veil of light on the eyelids in six shades. Now I would like to try this maybe as a blush or something like that. So maybe a deeper shade but not a highlighter. So like looking at those bottom three, maybe one of those shades, but I don't need a highlighter in particular. So let me know your thoughts on that. Lastly, we're checking out Chic Profile 4. She has some swatches of the, let's, oh wait a minute, let me see. Oh, she's got the Dior Forever Glow Maximizer. Let's see. So yeah, it's gonna be a nice highlighter. Let's see. That's what they look like. See those two left shades? Those look really nice. Ooh, yeah. 
the second one that might be the one right there so here she is with one of the more pink shades on and then it looks like she also has the tom ford quads that we talked about last that we talked about last week in the what might be a new formula oh now that shade looks nice so i don't know much about this formula yet is it the same cream formula or is it different than his previous ones i like that uh, second shade that yeah that's cute the top shade's not gonna do anything for me so that was iconic smoke so let's end this video because i know it's over an hour long hopefully you can put this on while you're cleaning or doing something that you know that you need to do so let's wrap this up there's definitely a lot coming out that i am interested in so one of the things that I want to make sure that I'm doing is planning out the releases that I want to purchase and I'm trying not to get too caught up in surprise releases, but there are some surprises this week that I'm, I'm interested in. I told you about the Prada beauty that I have coming. I told you about Sol de Janeiro. I was thinking about the Florasis, but I don't know. I don't see myself really using the palettes because they're so pretty so i'm gonna use the palette that they sent me in pr and see how i feel after that i don't think i really see myself using it like that let me know what you think about that collection because it is really beautiful and really i mean i'm literally not gonna be walking around with the blush cover you know so maybe i could just get those three items separately if i'm still thinking about them but right now i'm gonna hold my horses on that I do need a lip mask, so I'm looking. I told you about Prada. I told you DD Signature is gonna be sending me some things at some point. The Initio fragrance that had the cherry and the tobacco and all of that. I would love to get my hands on a sample of that, but it's not something I can afford right now, so no. Charlotte Tilbury, I definitely want to try one or two of the lipsticks. I don't know if I wanna do two pinks or one pink and one red. You know, I'm on the quest to find my perfect red and I kind of don't want to, I don't know if I want to pay full price for a red right now because I just don't know if I'm going to really wear it if I don't like it. And I don't like to return things like that. But there are two pinks that I want, like a lighter pink and a deeper pink. So you can probably count on that. And maybe one lip pencil, like a deeper pink lip pencil that I could wear with both shades. KKW Beauty, I am, there's like five shades that I like but my goal is to narrow it down to three. I really don't need the eyeshadow palette. So I think I'm gonna stick with the lipsticks, skip the eyeshadow palette. I can't wait to see Deadly Rose from Clarity. I wanna get my hands on a sample of the peanut <laughs> perfume, but like I'm not in a rush to do that. But the next time I order samples, I'm gonna look for that. Everything else is pretty much a skip. I would like to try a new skin tint. So if you have any good recommendations, I do have this one from Fenty Beauty and I have the one from Chanel. The Claudely one really intrigued me, but I'm really not sure about that. The things that I want are definitely on the more expensive side. I'm gonna be lipsticked out by the end of this month. That's what I'm thinking right now. And I'd love to know your thoughts, how you're feeling about makeup right now. Are you just chilling out? Is it too much? The glow recipe looks good. So maybe that'll be the skin tint that I try and see how that product works. That is gonna be it for this video. And the Ravens play today, so go Ravens. I was like, I'm a little purple. That's gonna be it for this video. I'm so excited for the Ravens to play today. I really hope that they win so we can keep, keep it going. I also wanna say that I'm getting really close to 5,000 subscribers. And I just want to thank all of you for hanging out with me and watching because I, I know that's still small in the YouTube world, but it's big for me. And I had no idea that this many people would want to watch this. So I just want to say thank you. It is not taken for granted at all. Just so you know, it means more than, than you know. So if you're here to the end of this long one, leave me a flamingo. And thank you for staying here <laughs> for this time. Hopefully it got you through something that you were doing. Again, thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another edition of the Makeup Protection Program. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh, block your ears.